Good morning, everyone. I've got my kayak all loaded up and ready to hit the river to chase some smallmouth. And I have something kind of fun planned for today. Instead of tying on a wacky worm or a whopper plopper like I normally would this time of year, I have my grandpa's old tackle box here with me. We're gonna try to catch some smallmouth on some of his old lures. You know, he's one of the guys that taught me a lot of what I know about fishing. And it's been almost 10 years now since he passed away. His tackle box here went through a couple other relatives' hands before it found its way into mine. So I've had it the last, oh, two or three years now. And I wasn't sure if I should put some of those older lures on display or what I should do with them, but, you know, I think he'd rather that I actually brought them out here and put them to use to catch some fish with. So that's what we're going to try to do today. It should be a lot of fun. Let's open it up and see what we have to work with. So I think what I'm going to do is pick three of these lures to bring along and try. And I'll probably stick with topwater lures because I was on this stretch of river a week ago and they're absolutely hammering the topwater lures. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, some kind of big old pike plug. I bet the smallies would hammer that thing though. Uh, what else we got? A couple of spoons. Big old honking daredevil. Wow, look at the size of that thing. That thing is huge. We've got the worm. <laughs> a couple little crankbaits. Uh, let's see. Wow, I actually remember this one. I remember back when I was a kid watching in awe as my grandpa pulled in some huge bass and pike on this lure. What's that one called? The Shakespeare Swimming Mouse. Looks like he's missing his tail there, but I might actually have something in my truck that we can make a new tail with for him. So I'm going to set that one aside. We'll bring him along. And let's see what else we got in here. A whole bunch of daredevils. A bunch of these fuzzy grub type jigs. Got a couple more of the worms down here. Filet knives, some fishing gloves, a whole bunch of bobbers. Uh, what else we got up here? Ooh, a lazy Ike. I bet the smallies would nail that. That's kind of interesting looking. Let's see, what have we got here? A spinnerino? Oh yeah, you betcha. Ooh, I like the look of this one. What's this one called? That is a head and river runt spook floater. Now if that doesn't sound like a smallmouth lure, I don't know what does. We'll bring him along. Those hooks are kind of nasty looking, but I think I have some different ones in my truck that we can swap these out with. I'll set that one next to Mr. Mouse there. And let's see, we need one more, one more to try. Ooh, I like this one. Another head and lure, the tiny torpedo. It's probably more of a nighttime color, but we'll bring him along and try that one out too, I think. So we'll go with these three here. What do you guys think? Are the smallies going to hammer those? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's hit the water. All right, we're all tied on and ready to go. I actually ended up swapping out hooks on all three of these lures because none of the old ones are really all that great. And then the swimming mouse, I gave him a new tail. I had a spare tail for a BBZ one rat in my truck. So I made that fit in there. That should work pretty well. Let's see what kind of action these lures have. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with the tiny torpedo. He's got some nice prop action on the tail end of it. Yeah, I think we'll catch some on that. And how about that river runt? I'm kind of curious about that one myself. Oh, that's nice. I like that one. It's got some good side-to-side -side action. Kind of a subsurface lure. If you work it fast enough. Yeah, I like that one. And we've got the Shakespeare swimming mouse. 
Let's see what that one does. Oh, yeah, that one's got a nice wobble to it too. Look at that. It's almost like an old-fashioned BBZ1 rat. I think we'll start off with that one this morning. Yeah, I like that one. Let's go see how the smallies like it. There's one. Oh man, tried to pull me right into those sticks. He came up and nailed that swimming most. Man, that's a good fish, too. Kind of try to drift my way away from these logs. Ooh, first fish in the morning. He came up and snatched up that swimming most. myself shallow enough here to drop anchor. Alright, I will take that to start off the day. Nice. Yeah, that one wanted most for breakfast. <laughs> That didn't take too long. The launch is just right around the bend there. Yeah, that's a nice one for first fish of the day. There's one. Oh yeah. Jeez, that looks like a good one. Look at that, I just got him hooked funny. Oh, that's a good smolly. Hanging right off of that point over there. That's another one on the swimming mouse. That one is a pig. I'm gonna get the net for that one. Wow, that is a chunk smallmouth. Wow, look at that one. And she's tucked right up along that grass, through that mouse over there. She came out and hammered it. I'm liking that lure. That thing's got some pretty good action to it. Yeah, that one's a pig. Let me get a quick measurement on her. I don't know if she's gonna be a 20. She might be close. Gotta be at least a 19 inch, I would think. Oh yeah. She's about 19 and a quarter. Good fish though. Ready one. All right, lots of two nice ones on the swimming mouse. I think I'm gonna put that one away for now. And let's see, we'll give this river run to try. Look at that. Gotcha. 
<laughs> Hello there. Just look down next to me and there's a couple of nice mollies sitting down there. I got my power pulled down. I'm not going any farther into this tree. All right, come here now. There's a nice little one on that river runt. Yeah, that was kind of cool. I saw him. Her and a buddy sitting right next to me. I dropped my rod tip down with about a foot of line out behind it. Put this river runt right in front of her face and she was all over it. That's not a bad fish right there. Yeah, I'll take that one. It's been kind of a tough bite today. Nothing to do with the lures, I don't think. I just haven't really been seeing a whole lot of fish. This particular stretch of river seems like they like to school up on a certain part of it. I just don't think I've found that certain part today. Let's see if I can get out of this tree now. Gotcha. Ooh, there's one on the river run. Yeah, she just wanted that thing to move a little bit faster, I think. Jeez, that one is a toad. Got the rods out of the way here. Come on over here, you. That is a chunk. I've been sitting here trying to catch this one for about 10 minutes. I threw that swimming mouse. I threw the tiny torpedo. I even tied on a jig just to give that a try to throw it in front of her. She wouldn't even touch that, but man, this head and river runt here. Threw that in front of her. She was all about it. That's good to see, man. That's a nice fish, too. Wow. Pretty one. There's one. On the tiny torpedo. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. I only got a decent one to bite that little lure. Got a little pike and a couple little dink bass on it already. It's not huge, but it's a decent one. take it. And it's been a tough bite today, honestly. To say the fishing's been a little bit slow would be an understatement. But, caught at least one or two 
decent fish on all three of the lures that I've brought out here to try today, so I guess we could consider that a success. That's not a bad one right there. That one's for you, Grandpa. Thanks for everything you taught me. Back to the launch. Well, that was a fun day on the river. I didn't hammer them quite like I was hoping. The bite was actually a little bit tough, but I still managed to get one or two nice mollies on each of these three lures that I brought out to try. So I'm gonna say that was a pretty good day. I had fun, that's really all that counts. Well, I'm gonna get my kayak loaded up, hit the road, and grab some dinner. Thanks for coming along. See you guys next time.